been a while. Yes, it has. You know what that means. Seagal time? Seagal time. Ah. We are watching Mercenary for Justice, another generically titled Seagal film that I picked because we have two of these Seagal four packs and it is the last movie to be seen on these. So I can put these in the garbage where they belong. Burn them. We have three copies of this movie in general, but uh, only Christopher C. put his name on it. Smart man. I'm expecting uh, as generic as the title. We're friends here, and friends don't let friends go down the wrong path. The path of Bullshito. The path of Seagal. Male pattern baldness is a genetic condition that affects two out of every three guys by the time they are 35. And we know you don't want to be like Seagal. No! No! What if you could get professional care for hair loss from the comfort of your home without ever visiting a doctor's office or pharmacy? Keeps can do that. You complete an online consultation to get matched with the provider who will tailor a treatment plan, if medically appropriate, to address your hair loss concerns. All treatment plans are personalized to address your unique needs and recommended by a licensed medical provider specially trained in men's hair loss. Treatment is delivered right to your door in discreet, non-branded packaging on your schedule with the flexibility of three, six, and 12 month delivery options. Plus you can adjust, pause, or cancel your plan at any time. Keeps offers both of the FDA approved hair loss treatment options, as well as a two in one treatment that combines both. Keeps also offers hair thickening shampoo, conditioner, and styling pomade. These products work together to complement your treatment plan and enhance results. Over the last six years, Keeps has treated over one million men experiencing hair loss with these science-backed ingredients. Obviously, individual results may vary, but don't get Seagulled. So whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of the hair you have, Keeps has you covered. Don't go down the Bullshito path, my friend. Head to keeps.com slash Jason Brandt to get a special offer, or you can click the link in the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Jason Brandt to get that special offer, no bullshito. Thanks to Keeps for sponsoring this video and for the free product. All right, what we got? We got from Santa Fe Brewing, 7K. I love this beer. Um, brewed at 7,000 feet. It's a delicious IPA at seven and a half? Seven. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. I've already killed you, but I have this now. The man walks with an air of confidence. It's rarely seen in this day and age. I was not born on a turn up truck. And I was not born at night. Let's get to the nitty gritty here. There's some sick shit up in here, alligator. Because now I will snatch every mother's birthday. 2006 is the era where some of these can be entertaining. Mm. Hit or miss. I'm mostly going with miss. Oh, uh. Why does he look familiar? He's the villain in Blade 2. Oh. Uh, he's been in another one of these cigars. He's familiar too. Look at those chaps. He's got an ass nose. <laughs> Goss. Luke Goss. Nice. That's him. I shall give you the best. Uh-oh. I wonder who that is. Christ. Ex-Special Force, that guy right there. <laughs> that guy's the best. I love that pan down to his crotch, yeah. and then it goes over the other crotch. Yeah, yeah. And another. Face, dick, dick, face. <laughs> there is not a gun or a bullet they cannot find or use. 500 kills to their credit. 500 kills? Yeah, killing hot dogs. Can, or more precisely, has hacked his way into every system in the world. He looks familiar, too. Yes. Wait, didn't he just pass away not that long yes. ago? Yes. Yeah, he was like a drug addict or something? I don't know, yeah, I don't know that, in, but... He was in the show uh, Happen Leonard. Yeah. And a couple of movies. Mr. Radio Jones, communication specialist. This is how attrition was when they were introducing the team, and it was like freeze-framing. Ah, yes, yes. Little party. Oh! That's not against the shoulder. No, it's not. John Seeger. The most decorated soldier in the first Gulf War. <laughs> so Seagal's the most decorated soldier in an entire war. Of course. Yes. With over 500 kills. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's better than the two guys who have 500 kills. <laughs> Civilians fleeing for their lives. 
combat reporter who isn't smart enough to tie her hair back. <laughs> Jack a car in town and we're moving on a target. She also has 500 kills. <laughs> on, <laughs> on Tinder. <laughs> She's really flipping that hair around. Yeah, she is. So is that who Seagal's gonna molest? <laughs> molest. <laughs> the director's name is Fauntleroy? Didn't we see another movie by Fauntleroy? Is that the chick on the back of the Jeep? Yep. Oh yeah, she looks like a martial arts expert. <laughs> Again, not wearing a bra for her fight. <laughs> oh, look at that stance. Yeah. Bro. All right, paper mache next. Excellent. Paper mache. I approve of them using her so much. Mm-hmm. I can get on board with this. You too. I can see they're on the first floor. The ground's right there. <laughs> Look! <laughs> Where'd they climb to? <laughs> wow, that was easy. <laughs> How do these people ride in cars? Like, if you got in a fender bender, you die. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> you hit a speed bump. Yeah. <laughs> Schedule, so let's move. Good guard dog. <laughs> That's just gonna say. <laughs> it's like, who are these assholes? <laughs> this is a reporter? Mm -hmm. With her stomach out. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm definitely talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, had you shot him, you would have saved your buddy. Yeah, right? You yeah. took so long getting up to him. <laughs> they spent a little bit of money on this anyway. Yeah, some, some of the stuff isn't terrible. It looks... Like a legit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus That's Christ. That's how you shoot an automatic weapon, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Not even looking down the sights. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Get head office on the secure line. Where's Kruger and his men? That was not him in the first sentence, right? It didn't sound like him. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, how's this for intel? The friendship landed. Somebody uh -huh. us. Who? He's like, me, right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> We're going on a, a war zone. She's wearing the correct shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you could run far and fast in this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she put body armor on. Yeah, yeah. no helmet. Like, it's a thin shirt, no bra. It's a bit more for my mercs to handle. Shall we call them? This dude's nose is killing me. <laughs> like, I can't stop looking at it. You don't see the ass nose too often. You see the ass chin. Yeah, yeah I see it all the time. Yeah. Chapel, you and Gresham, uh, send this, I'm gonna stick my 45 up your ass and break every bone in your body. So, is that how that works? What? I love when he uses phrases incorrectly. <laughs> ah, got shot in the dick. He died quickly from that. <laughs> if somebody shot me in the dick, I'd die right away. <laughs> your will to live is just instantly gone. <laughs> like, and I'm dead. That's a lot of explosions. Yeah. I mean, silver lining. Everything else sucks balls. Yeah, when you consider how many gunshots and explosions there have been, it's pretty boring. Yeah, it's very boring, yeah. It's just done so poorly. It's like, I don't care at all. And yeah, talking to a French soldier, the French people are fighting who? Who's this chick? What's her cup size? <laughs> She's good at breaking necks. <laughs> Yeah, like all this should look cooler, but it's so close up, you can't really see much. Mm -mm. It's kind of like the born supremacy style of shooting, like mm -hmm. super zoomed in, shaky cam. Mm -hmm. I hate it. What was his plan? He's <laughs> not gonna die hanging from the ceiling. Watch this. <laughs> it's like YOLO. And it's dead. <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> Oh! Damn. That was actually kind of cool. That was kind of cool. This has been on for maybe 10 minutes, and like nine and a half minutes were just nonstop shooting, which should be awesome. And it's boring. And I'm about to just leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it, that if a movie is shot poorly, you're just like, this sucks. Yeah, no matter how many things are blowing up. Or... Yeah. Like if they just back the camera up like 20 feet. And stop recording like yes. this. Yeah. 
I was really excited to come over. Well, I had to wreck it at the beginning with Seagal. <laughs> I mean, you had to know it was coming. I, mean, I haven't seen you in months. I was like, yes. And I was <laughs> like, fuck <"Rrr."> you. <laughs> Regretting all of my decisions. God, this is so terrible. It's so bad. You remember when we used to get excited for movies? I know. <laughs> Like, not just on this show. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. I think Seagal personally cast her. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. I don't even know what I was saying. Yeah, it threw you out of your whole thought. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> we will name her Top Heavy. <laughs> Guess you know him well. Is that the reporter? No. I think that was the reporter. They have to put him in a 2500 just to haul his fat ass around. <laughs> Why are they spying on him? Like, I, I don't know. The lady says it's a go. This movie sucks. I hate it so much. We're, we're like 12 minutes into it. Well, I hate when we pick a Seagal movie and Seagal's not in it. Like, that's <laughs> the worst. Because then we're just watching a, like a boring movie. Uh, yeah, boring. That we can't even make fun of. Yeah. Daddy's not coming home. Well, there's nothing he wanted more than to be with you. He's been beginning. And now we know why he came here. Uh huh. She has a commanding presence. <laughs> why are you here, Tom? State Department already notified us. Huh? Give your son a new daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Heard the boy needs a brother. <laughs> oh, he's hugging her. What a shock. Pull it in closer. Yeah. In Africa, wasn't it? The one on the news. They always look at the look at the lighting. Oh my God! Listen, um... Jesus, where'd you get that money? Bitch, you got to work for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you live with me now. <laughs> <laughs> it's better when he's in it. Yeah, because it's, it's just so cringe. It's a different movie. Ah, uh, the old sneak behind trick. Yeah, how's he pulling that off? Because you know there's a cup of water in there. It's like Jurassic Park. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Oh, Jesus. Wait. I thought it was his old team looking at him. What is happening? John, so why don't you just come back in, huh? Oh, I'm coming in. Believe me, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. <laughs> Believe me. Why do you think I'm at this house? <laughs> Believe me, I'm coming in. Oh, I'm coming in. <laughs> I never pull out. Whoa. 18 Whoa. Van. Yeah, what the hell? Oh, and an IROC. Nice. Who? What? Wait, so the reporter and Scarface are not with these guys? I guess not. Comb your hair. His hair's always crazy frizzy on the sides. I wonder if that's because that's his real hair and the top is not. Oh, What's up with his, like, w was he out, like, tanning in South Florida, like, terribly? Like, he just. Oh, he, he looks, always looks orange. Yeah. Jeez, he looks terrible. You deserve each other. And I thought ladies like the bad boys. <laughs> I beat these guys. <laughs> you know where to find me. We've been invited to Air Force One. You're at the bar. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you look at a dude like that and you just can't trust him, but you don't know why. He just looks yeah, like a villain. He looks like a snake. Yeah, a snake. I like that. Yeah. Like as soon as you turn around, he's going to bite you. <laughs> to a lockdown facility in Leavenworth, Kansas. A lovely facility, I'm told. He's doing a good job acting like a Yes. He's actually growing on me. <laughs> he might be the best part of this movie other than the, girls. the, the, yeah, the, the female casting is on point. They couldn't have tailored this guy's suit in the back? <laughs> yeah, the Secret Service guy. Jesus Christ. That's straight off the rack at Sears, man. <laughs> It's like jackets I wear. Sears, he's lucky if they went to Ross. <laughs> there will be a bullet in your head, Mr. Chapel. Put it in his ass. His nose ass. <laughs> Dude, this, You're getting hammered. This would be you and I, like, for sure. We got a mission, boys. Let's go. <laughs> Don't let them hurt my baby. We need your help. They say they're going to take us to Africa. <laughs> they said they're going to take us to Africa. 
Wow. I don't know how to take that. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my God. Are there Nazis now? What the hell's going on? Irrelevant. There might even be something in it for you, John. I kind of like this guy now. <laughs> I don't know. He's, like, growing on me. Why does it keep cutting to these guys getting hammered? <laughs> I don't know, but I love it. Samuel. Dude had a cool look. With he the did. scar and everything, like really, really cool look. I feel like he had an overdose. Yeah, I don't I don't remember. But it was I could be shitting on his name, but I feel like it was an overdose. <laughs> so is this like the third part of the plot? Well, first of all, what is the plot? What is the plot? <laughs> <laughs> well, they want Seagull to do something, so they stole Top Heavy. Yeah. He's corrupt. She doesn't know. She does now? Or are you talking about on the right? No, no on the left, she doesn't know the dude in the middle is corrupt. Yeah, I don't think so. The chick on the right, what does she have to do? She's in the middle of it somehow. She's Seagal's mistress. I don't know what she does, though. Except she does not wear bras. No, 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 no. It's my favorite part of the movie. Yeah. I have something on you? So John does have a weakness. Meaning what? <laughs> I know what his weakness is. Braless women. <laughs> <laughs> Boobs. Boobs. Man, they really nailed the lighting. <laughs> Everywhere he goes, it's just like a thin layer across his face. <laughs> what? What was that? These guys look like they should be in the Fast and the Furious, not... For sure. Big and tall. That's a big suit, dude. <laughs> He is looking fat. Yeah. What's up with the Ocean's Eleven music? Uh, it's weird. Because this isn't a heist movie. No, there's been a lot of murder. Perimeter sensors are still left on. Samuel's going to disable the system in the northeast sector. It's a freaking heist movie. It is a heist movie. That's why the music. We may have to take a couple of guards out, and then we may have to deal with the marshals with CXL. So his plan is we may have to take out some guards. Not, there's a guard here, there's a guard there. This is the time they're on duty making their walk. No, 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 we might have to take some people out. Dude, yep. watch them go in and it's not even gonna be stealth. Get up! Fighting sitting down. It's much better. Fighting scene sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, we're not even halfway. Why'd you do that? <laughs> really wish I was kind of happy that. up until you just... <laughs> Uh, you in bed with Josh all along? Oh, wrong choice of word. <laughs> the lighting. <laughs> I can't stop looking at it now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Once he brought it up, I'm like, oh yeah. He always has that in every movie. You don't talk because, like, maybe if you had to kill somebody afterwards, it would be hard. He's not talking because he could barely hear your mumbling. That's kind of, you know, stoic look on your face. See, with me, it's never hard. Because he hates you. <laughs> he loathes you. <laughs> Wasn't Seagal just in the front seat? I, I thought so. <laughs> Did he climb in the back while they were driving, like, through the middle? Where are we going? It's a surprise. It's Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> are we being followed? No. Is Seagal even in the car with them? He was, like, real out of focus in the back. Oh, you think that they filmed this... Separately? End up being really bad or And she's also looking at the seat behind the driver. Yeah. See what oh, I mean? Doesn't it look fake? Oh dude, you might be right. I think they did like a composite. I don't think they were in the car. I don't together. think they were. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we got the the extra sturdy seat for you. <laughs> he went to sit down there like no no no. <laughs> Look at the lighting. Oh my god. She's fully lit. And he's just like... Yeah, he's a vampire <laughs> hiding from the sunlight. Do you have any leverage? What is this, a Nokia? Why, why, why are we holding it away from our head? He's afraid of the 5G. <laughs> it's gonna give him COVID. <laughs> Listen, how you doing? You and your mom all right? Yeah. Tell mom I'm coming on her for her. <laughs> Ha ha ha.
Jesus. <laughs> Are we actually going to get a fight scene with Seagal? Yeah, 100%. We haven't had one yet. Oh. He's going to be sitting on the toilet, though. Let's be sitting down. <laughs> That's it for you, poop hole. Poop hole? Did he call him poop hole? <laughs> Did he call him poop hole? Is that what he said? <laughs> poop hole. This is horribly shot. It's zoomed in so far, you just can't see it's anything. It's terrible. Oh. Oh. So Seagal did use it first. <laughs> Dude, there was no plumbing on the back of the Nothing. Urinals. Nothing. <laughs> just came right off the wall. <laughs> oh, God. This is so cringe with the music and everything. This is like a parody of a Seagal movie. Yeah. It was harder for him to break that guy's neck than the small blonde woman. Who has been out of the movie, by the way? Yeah. Dude, look, there's no... <laughs> Nothing. You piss, it just sits in there. Never did say where you're from, but let me guess, don't tell me. Detroit. Detroit, Michigan. Two Motor City boys just like that. Dave, what the hell? What is happening? What was that? I hate you. I hate myself, too. <laughs> I really could have done without this movie. Uh, <laughs> it's a go to you, John. I have zero clue what's going on. I really. You usually follow these pretty well, too. Yeah. Everything but this. Tigers and Mouse, what's happening at the Beehive? Tigers and Mouse, Beehive. These are what's happening at the Beehive. But what he actually said was, Tigers and Mouse, Beehive. Oh yeah, this is a working prison, I'm sure. <laughs> the wall has a giant crack in it. <laughs> oh man, they're going to the rock status. Going through the sewer system. It'd be fun to watch that right now. <laughs> yeah, it would be. The music does not match anything that's happening ever. No. Yeah, the music uh, selection is, is weird. We, we might have to kill a guard or two. Let's go in and quiet. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. You called it as soon as they were talking about it. <laughs> this dude's sitting there not hearing the, the automatic gunfire. In the, the concrete prison. <laughs> Who are they trying to get out? A prisoner, but for what reason, I don't know. Like, they showed a video of it, but I don't know who it was. What the f Hey, yo, Kruger. I mean, you said you'd rather die than integrate. Oh, he's not in there. So they double-crossed each other? Seagal and... The Scarface dude? Yeah. Keep your eyes open. What the f This is The Rock. Right? Surrounded from elevated position. Yeah. How did Seagal get in and get the prisoner out without the guards knowing? And if Seagal's a good guy, why didn't he warn the guards that these guys were breaking in? Because a bunch of them got killed. Mm -hmm. I also love that they stood in there until like seven of them died and then ran out. And then they were like, hey, we should leave. <laughs> what the hell? I love it's bright orange. <laughs> Yeah! Oh! Sweet! Okay, that was pretty cool. Alright, I can get on board for this. Oh, <laughs> dual wield. <laughs> what Eastern European jail is this? Dude. Yeah! That was pretty cool. Alright. Okay. This kind of feels like a different movie all of a sudden. Yeah. What prison is this that they have rocket launchers? <laughs> just thinking that. <laughs> you son of a bitch, John. Oh, that's not nice. Yeah, that's <laughs> what are you waiting for? Back door! What? <laughs> There's no way he batman out of he that. He batman into that vehicle! <laughs> that is so ridiculous. <laughs> By the time 
He got out the door. He was down the block. Steven Seagal. I mean, there's a lot of things I could let slide. <laughs> a lot of things. That was probably the dumbest thing I've ever seen. By the way, the cop didn't see him. He was like, there's no one in here. He didn't see that fat f- running down the sidewalk. Waddling his way down the around the corner. You didn't see the shocks of the car. like. <laughs> <laughs> The casting with the women is. Yeah, we need a. Uh, we need literally find out who the casting director is and just watch all of their movies. <laughs> like, just go down the rabbit hole. <laughs> watch it be freaking Steven. It's just. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just flips through books. He's like hired. <laughs> that one. Nope, nope. That too one. fat. Hired. <laughs> They're holding them in a lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> Ultra secure. They can see them coming from very far away. <laughs> I'm looking at him right now. Oh, he's terrified. Dude, you still like him? So ridiculous. I like it because he's so over the top. He's holding his, his middle finger. He brainstemmed him. <laughs> he brainstemmed him. <laughs> that poor guy. Don't kill her. Don't do it. Even the way they're shooting this, like, I, can't, I don't know where Seagal is in all of this. Nah. Nothing's destroyed. It's like a concussion grenade? Budget, budget thing. Oh, uh, oh, uh, it's a fancy hallway. Mm-hmm. Even if you got a lot of money, you can't spend it. first I don't know man I really really hate this movie <laughs> uh, you know what don't 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 uncover you sure <laughs> gross gross you should have picked this movie for the second one so I can piss through most of it <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom you don't come back <laughs> so he didn't kill the bad guys? Nope. He killed all of the... The minions. The minions. Yeah. Some of these dudes were just doing their job. They the just cops. worked at this place. Like Yeah, that one guy's SWAT. Yeah, like, they're just doing their job. This guy, he didn't kill. Jaguar. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> uh, Jaguar. So, I mean, <laughs> the story's unfurling. <laughs> I still don't understand what is going on. No. <laughs> Damn. That dude obliterated that yeah, door. He really did. <laughs> no, Michigan. No. It's He's all right. Okay. He's fine. It's only a flesh room. Gun! What was that? I thought maybe we were following the bullet. Hey! Um, that was pretty cool. Yeah, give the stunt man some credit. I'm not giving him credit. No, no, no. Fat piece of shit. Uh, why is it saying police, but it's like reversed? Did Did you notice that? I did. Or, or is that I, like a I, European thing? Like you have to do that? Like, but how are you supposed to read it? I I don't. Is that know. in case you're in the van looking down? If you were in the van. Looking down, it would be left to right. Yeah, but why do you need to... I, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Am I... Pol- oh, my, uh, I'm police. <laughs> <laughs> right. What am I doing today? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm police today. Yeah. <laughs> because the license plate wasn't reversed. No. Just the... <laughs> what the hell was that? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, this is getting stupider. Stupider? Yeah. Yes. When... I'm- Oh, everyone else is suppressed. Michigan comes in. Michigan. (laughs) Michigan, who looks very European, by the way. Yeah. I thought that that whole Michigan thing was like a shtick. Nope. That's that's why they bonded. Don't worry, Top Heavy. He got you. You should worry later, though. (laughs) (laughs) You're going to have a heavy toll to pay. (laughs) 
you're selling your soul to the devil. <laughs> oh, somebody's not athletic. No. Dude. Whoa. That's the most awkward entrance I've ever seen. Wow. What the hell? <laughs> Don't run ever again. You were a 10 out of 10 until just <laughs> there. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. Top heavy should have to run. Yeah. I I completely yeah. agree. Yeah, don't, wow. don't run anymore. Stop it. You don't believe she's a special forces badass anymore? <laughs> That's what broke the illusion. The facade is, is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you even talking to him? Just shoot him and do yeah. us all a favor. Why are you leaving? Can we have one of those Alec Baldwin moments right now? <laughs> I don't understand why he didn't shoot Seagal there. Oh, did he put a bomb in his car? Of course he did. Oh. Yeah, that's a good explosion. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll give it a little bit of credit. Milk toast. So instead of just shooting him, you put a bomb in the car, talk shit to him, assumed he wouldn't kill you, hoped he would get in that car, and drove away, and then you could blow it up. Bingo. So it said police regularly on the side. Look, police, no, but and then it's there. backwards there. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. That's so strange. He's going to bang your wife. Oh, that's who that was. Yeah, that dude in the beginning, yeah. Oh, you didn't get that? It's been a long time <laughs> since we saw that guy. <laughs> it's like the first seven minutes of the movie. <laughs> He's holding on to this guy's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get yeah. a grip, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that guy's like, what the hell, dude? <laughs> Cut! Cut! <laughs> He's two knuckles deep. Cut! <laughs> What's wrong? I'm being molested. Oh, God. <laughs> that was it! <laughs> that was the end. The last 30 seconds is the best part of the entire movie. <laughs> so, no. No. That was really awful, Seagal. Yeah. I hated every moment of that. Don't waste your time. There's there's better Seagal out there, weirdly. <sighs> saying it weirdly. Yeah. That was pretty bad. That was probably one of the worst ones that I've seen. That was so bland. And I can't believe he was actually in it a lot more than we originally thought he was yeah. going to be. Yep. Um, but yeah, didn't that was, help. Yeah, it was bad. Hmm. I didn't know that. I mean, I hear it, but I I don't. I can't tell you where I hear it from. It's probably just you calling me a jack off. Jack off. Yeah. <laughs> like That's I where hear, I hear. It. I hear it all the time. <laughs> That's where I hear it from. It's you. <laughs>